So this campground has an amazing little beach area uh, right up against this lake. This is Lake Roosevelt and uh, it is just absolutely gorgeous. And all the trees are turning now too. So it's just the most beautiful time to be here. And look at this little area they have down here. It's just so beautiful. They have that pavilion there for gathering family, friends, a little um, playground. And then over here, they have a volleyball court, which is always a good time. So nice. But the best thing is that nobody's here. Exactly. It's awesome. supposed to be south by now so this is called the spring canyon campground um here on the columbia river you paid 23 a night is that 23 it a night, yeah. 23 a night but if you have like the i think a maybe a senior discount or an, all that, that or access pass i think is what it's called yeah, yeah it's 11 dollars a night and it's absolutely gorgeous and also um there's no electricity so it is dry camping but man it's been quiet and peaceful and very beautiful so this is a recreation.gov reservation area um, and we just saw a a little post here that says there's no water available no potable water available from october 1st to april 30th and here's our site it is site number six as you can see it really fits lucille quite well and we even have enough room to park our jeep and it has a really good view in the morning we wake up and see that as our view outside the window. Good morning. We are leaving the Cooley Dam area and headed over to uh, uh, Harvest House Lavender Farm. Where is it? It is in Quincy, Washington. Quincy, Washington. So we're really looking forward to that because it's my birthday. So it'll be a fun way to uh, celebrate the day. I'm really looking forward to that. We'll show you guys around. We are at the Lavender Farm. It is called Trinity Trinity Lavender Farm. Lavender Farm in Quincy, Washington. And oh my gosh, this whole place just smells amazing, doesn't it, hun? Yeah, it's beautiful. It's, it's nice. It's so nice. And there's the seal way over there. We really enjoyed our stay at the Lavender Farm for my birthday. They have such a cute little gift shop with all kinds of lavender scented items to buy, which is great because I love lavender. Oh yeah, oh my God, how beautiful. That's Mount Rainier. You can see the total tippy top of it today nice and clear day which is so much fun um i can't wait to go and play around in that park here's where we're staying in uh, packwood washington which is actually right outside mount rainier check out what we can see over here that is mount rainier snow in the background and then this is the town of Packwood right here where we can walk to. Pretty cool place. So we made it to Mount Rainier National Park. Um, we just drove into the entrance and we saw a sign that said that the, the road is going to be closed Monday through Friday. So we're not sure if we're going to be able to get in or not. Hopefully we can. So it's definitely closed. Go check out another one. So this park so far has made it to Eric's number two. Definitely has. And we haven't even seen it all yet. <laughs> it's really, really cool. I, mean, I just, it feels like I'm in a movie or something.
Well, we have hit a fog bank. <laughs> um, it's pretty cloudy and misty up here, so we can't see a lot of the outlook type of stuff, but that's okay because we plan on coming back in the next few days to check out the park and to go hiking. morning we are headed out for a short little hike here outside of Packwood Washington um, not sure how far it's only like a couple miles I think mm -hmm. but it's just a little local trail so uh, we're gonna take you with this is all along the skate Creek look at this dense forest absolutely just covered in moss it is something else So we decided to take another trail. This one's called Packwood Lake Trailhead. And it is absolutely stunning. You have to see the view for, of Mount Rainier. Look at this, Rain, Rainier. Rainier. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, our, our last hike was nice, but um, it just kind of meandered along a, a stream and it was pretty flat. And we wanted to just, you know, take a little bit more of a challenge today, I guess. Wow, be careful not to fall down there. <laughs> So we're almost back to the car. What did you think of the trail? I thought the trail was amazing. It was a lot of green, beautiful um, forest. It didn't have very many vistas. Um, no. We didn't actually make it to the lake. Right. But uh, yeah, it was still beautiful, amazing. Yeah, it was absolutely gorgeous. And there was one view of Mount Rainier. Yeah, we'll have to show that. <laughs> I don't know how to say that. <laughs> <laughs> I need to learn how to say that properly, but anyways. Uh, there was one really good view of that and so anyways all in all it was a beautiful trail though yeah, perfect really enjoyed it we are on the skyline trail now we're here we're gonna take a hike and we are headed there <laughs> every time I take a tr trail any kind of trail in the National Park I'm like this is the best one. <sighs> oh my gosh this is awesome I know really, really cool Hiking the Skyline Trail during the fall, as you can see. Look at that. So, if you didn't know where we were, we would say, what's that country that has the sound of music? Switzerland? <laughs> <laughs> we would be like, the hills are alive. <laughs> With the sound of music, is that how it goes? <laughs> That's exactly how it goes. It's incredible. Hard work, but worth it. Hardest trail I've ever done in my 50s. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Let's see how far we've gone. I only check it about, oh, every tenth of a mile. We've gone 3.42. Go. Hey, that's a lot from the last time we checked. And 1,700 feet elevation? 1,710 feet elevation. So far all uphill for us. Yeah. But I love it. Sweet. 
so we don't just go on hikes. No, we don't. We sometimes go to a brewery, so we're gonna go to one just over there. Let's go. So it's just down the way, which is really nice. It's literally just across the highway. So we'll just walk. Did you want to get you again? Uh, I actually want to get a butter peak for it this time. I want to try that too this time. Two? Yes. They get pretty hot here during the summer. Typically not. I, mean, I used to live That's in Arizona. True. I was like, I knew a way to get away oh, from yeah. that. Come on. Oh, it's hot today. 65 to 75 is my idea. Thanks, Ed. Cheers, everybody. <laughs> We're going to end the video here. Thanks so much for coming along. If you liked our video, give us a thumbs up and uh, we'll see you guys next time. See ya. Thank you everybody so much for watching our videos. If you enjoy our content and would like to support the channel, you can now buy us a coffee. Head over to the comment section for the link. We appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you so much and we'll see you next time.